Good morning, you're watching the Australian Share Market Outlook on Thursday, the 13th of February. I'm Lelda Smiths for the Finance News Network. The Australian share market looks set for a soft start to the session ahead of domestic jobs data and after Wall Street ended mixed. US investors pulled back overnight from the prior day's buoyant gains, which was sparked by a testimony by new US Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen. European and Asian markets got a boost from Chinese trade data, which helped the local boss extend its five-day winning streak. Today, Australia's jobs market will be in focus when the official print on employment and unemployment is released this morning. Reporting season also continues with majors such as Rio Tinto, Telstra, ASX, Singtel, GPT Group and Webjet among those reporting financials. Now across global markets, Wall Street's major indexes paused on Wednesday following a four-day rally. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 31 to close at 15,964. The S&P 500 lost almost half a point to close at 1,819 and the Nasdaq added 10 points to close at 4,201. European markets moved higher for a sixth session. London's FTSE rose 2.4, Paris rose 22 and Frankfurt rose 61. Asian markets advanced on news. China's exports jumped in January. Tokyo's Nikkei gained 82. Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 323 points. And China's Shanghai Composite gained 6. The Australian share market continued to climb higher after China's trade data to end more than 1% stronger. The S&P ASX 300 index advanced 56 points to end the session at 5,310. And on the futures market, the SPY is currently nine points higher. Now turning to currencies, the Australian dollar was also aided by China's trade data offsetting a disappointing print on domestic consumer confidence. At 8.20 a.m., the Aussie was buying 90.3 US cents, 54.43 pence sterling, 92.59 yen and 66.44 euro cents. In economic news due out today from the Australian Bureau of Statistics are labour force figures for January. Now turning to company news, attention again remains on companies releasing earnings reports. Rio Tinto will release its full year results today, just weeks after reporting it surpassed its annual cost-cutting targets and production forecasts for copper and iron ore output over the 2013 calendar year. The global mining giant is widely expected to post an improved result from last year's $3 billion loss around the same time CEO Tom Albanese stepped down and was replaced by Sam Walsh. Overnight, Rio Tinto has announced it has inked agreements to sell wharf and land options to LNG Canada, a joint venture between Royal Dutch Shell, Mitsubishi Corp, Korea Gas Corp and PetroChina. Shares in Rio Tinto rose 2.19% on Wednesday to finish the session at $68.10. Telstra will report its first half results today. Analysts have tipped Australia's largest telco could be set to post an interim net profit of $1.8 billion and revenue of $12.9 billion. The results will come amid speculation Telstra is considering outsourcing as much as 1,000 jobs to Asia after a review is finalised at the end of next month. Shares in Telstra gained 1.19% on Wednesday to finish the session at $5.11. Now to X Dividends and the three companies trading X Dividend today are Kimberley Diamonds, Milton Corporation and ResMed and coming up tomorrow is GED Holdings. Finally, commodities. Gold has risen $5.20 to $1,295 US dollars an ounce for the April contract on COMEX. Silver has added $0.18 cents to $20.34 for March. Copper has lifted $0.04, cents, buying $3.26 a pound. The price of oil has gained $0.43 cents and is currently buying $100 US dollars and $0.37 cents a barrel for March like crude in New York. Thank you for watching the Australian Share Market Outlook on Thursday the 13th of February. I'm Lelda Smits for the Finance News Network. Have a lovely day.